Hey guys, um, recently, you, if you follow us on our channel, you'd have noticed that I, I did an unboxing of this Aerochino 4. I'd wanted it for a while and I wanted to upgrade and I finally got round to doing it. Um, but I don't like reviewing things, I don't mind unboxing them, but I don't mind reviewing things, I don't like reviewing things without trying them first and using them a bit. Um, so now I've used it for a few weeks, I thought I'd just do a quick review just to tell you what I think about it and whether I think it was worth the money. So firstly, how much did it cost? Well, it was £60 as an individual unit. It didn't come with a machine. So obviously, some, if you've got an espresso machine already and it's come with an Aerochino 3, then you might not know that it actually costs £50 to buy that new, whereas it's £60 to buy this. The reason I mention that, I can't really do a review of the Aerochino 4 without comparing it to the Aerochino 3 because obviously it's £10 more. So what are the differences? Well, the first difference is that this one is dishwasher safe. The Aerochino 4 is dishwasher safe. Uh, the Aerochino 3 wasn't. A second difference. There's a lip on the front of it here to make pouring easier. And that does make pouring a lot easier. And also, it's got a nice handle on it. But don't worry. Because you might think it's got a handle because this outside bit might get really hot, the metal. It doesn't. It's more like a sort of a flask. You can feel a little bit of heat through but not too much, so don't worry about that. Um, so differences from the Aerochino 3. With the Aerochino 3, there were only three milk settings on it. You could hold the button down for cold milk, you could press the button for froth milk, or you could remove the spring inside um, for, for milk with less froth or no froth. With this one, the spring inside stays in at all times, so you don't have to worry about taking it off to be able to do non-froth milk. So that's a big bonus with the Aerochino 4. Um, it's got four different milk settings with this one. It's got a cold milk, a warm milk, a froth milk, and then an extra froth milk. I'll just turn it on now. So as you can see, the, it has a, a blue light for the cold milk, so you can't get mixed up. Um, and it, like I said, there's just three other different milk settings. So what are the other differences? What else makes this better than the Aerochino 3? Well, first is just the amount of froth you get. At the end of this video, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna put a bit of milk through and show you how frothy it gets. Because with um, my Aerochino 3, if you notice on past videos that I've done, I liked to use a uh, whole milk, because I found that semi-skim didn't get quite as frothy as I liked it to. Um, but now with the semi-skim milk, now I find that it's absolutely fine. So it shows that the froth it is better in this one. And also the another big difference is heat. Um, with the Aerochino 3, I used to run water, um, a bit of water through first to heat the metal up inside before I actually put the milk in. With this one, I don't need to do that. It gets it really hot, even so, even so hot that I do find that it, I'm going to be honest, I do find that it burns a little bit of milk onto the bottom of the inside. It's not a problem because as we can see it's got a nice coating on and you can easily wash it out and the milk, the burnt milk comes off easily. Um, but it's a positive, you might think of it as a negative or oh, burnt milk but it, I view it as a positive because at least it shows that it's heating the milk up to a level where it can burn. It's, it's getting it that hot. Whereas with the Aerochino 3, like I said, it never, I'd run some water through first, but even then I felt it could be hotter. So a big winner again for the Aerochino 4. Another little concern that a comment, uh, commenter on the blog, oh sorry, YouTube channel, vlog, um, mentioned was that they, they'd heard that this tip could get a little bit mouldy. Um, after using it for a couple of weeks now, I don't really see how that can be the case as long as you clean it properly. It clips off, look, it's very easy to get back on again. Um, and if you clean it and you take that off and you clean it properly, I can't see how it's going to get mouldy or any mould anywhere really. It's just about cleaning it right. But if that changes in future, you know, I will let you know. I'll do another video and I'll let you know. But it just uh, settles on there nicely. So that's another concern addressed. So let's just have a quick run through now of the specifications of the Aerochino 4. So... Weight wise, it's one kilogram in weight. That could include the base, I'm not sure, but it's one kilogram in weight. Um, hot milk, you can get a max capacity, that's for this button if you're not having froth, of 240 milliliters. Um, if you're using froth, the max capacity is 120 milliliters of milk. 
and you can see on the inside don't worry about not no, having to measure it all out you can see there's a max line for hot milk and a max line for sorry a max line for froth milk and non froth milk so you don't have any worries there um, dimensions of it how big is it as you can see it's quite tall compared to the Aerochino 3 and um, so on its base it's 21 centimeters high and it's 18 centimeters across in diameter and obviously it's separate from your Nespresso machine so it's got a separate plug so bear that in mind if you don't want to have multi plugs or you shouldn't really have them fire hazards aren't they but bear that in mind you're going to need another plug socket for it finally there's a warranty of two years on it from Nespresso so you know it's an investment 60 pounds but it does have a two year warranty another thing I just wanted to mention just quickly thinking about uses for these um, a commenter on my unboxing video mentioned that they use the um, hot milk button without froth um, to heat up cereal for the kids and um, to the milk for their cereal Weetabix and things like that and they like that I thought that was a, a brilliant idea so I just wanted to mention that and when I mentioned that to my wife she said oh yeah I've actually used it for um, making hot chocolate for the kids because it, it's got quite a maximum capacity so that's a good idea to use hot chocolate for the kids so there's a couple of things I wanted to mention and um, what we're going to do now is just make I'll, I'll run some hot um, I'll run some milk through it I'll put it on the max froth setting just so you can see how much milk comes out and um, how much fro how frothy it is sorry um, and I might also do um, one or two of the other settings just to see so you can see how frothy it is and that it really does work without having to remove the spring all the time so we'll start off with the max froth setting and I'll just pour some milk in now so as I say we're going to be going to that bottom fill line and you see it's not very high you don't have to put too much milk in so you're not going to burn through too much milk burn it's the wrong word isn't it really go through I'll say go through we don't want to see burning but like I say on this on this Aerochino 4 you do get a little bit of burnt milk I'll, I might even try to show you that but it just shows you how hot it's getting so I'm, I'm just going to make a, a coffee with this one at the same time rather than waste the milk but I'll set that off now and you can see how long it takes to make the milk as well so uh, my general opinion of it you know I've, I've I do not regret this purchase at all it's one of the best purchases I've made in a long time and um, I do appreciate that if you I already had an Aerochino 3 it was connected to my, mach my machine and I sold my machine so I do appreciate if you haven't got an Aerochino at all then £60 is a lot to spend or if you've sorry if you've already got an Aerochino as well you know it's £60 to upgrade but if, you, if you're just deciding for the first time between the Aerochino 3 and the Aerochino 4 then £10 difference it's a no brainer get the Aerochino 4 honestly if you've got room for it. This is also my new Nespresso Satis machine. Uh, I recently unboxed this. I bought this as well to, when, I, when I got the uh, Aerochino 4. So if you're interested in looking at a review of that or a, an unboxing, I'll link to that above now. So this shouldn't be too much longer now, the milk. Remember, this is the max froth setting. There we go, it's finished. So I'll just, like I can say, I can put my hand on it. There's very little heat coming through that at all. And I'll just pour it out now so you can see how frothy that milk is, even with semi-skimmed. It's like ice cream, look. So that's the maximum froth setting. What I'll do now, I'll just quickly rinse it and I'll try and show you the burnt milk on the inside to show you how hot it is. Yeah, so just you can see there, a little bit of burnt milk at the bottom. But I'm, you'll have to trust me on this, it so easily wipes off. Um, so it just shows you how hot it's getting really also my son said as he was doing the video in that he timed it and it took around a minute 20 seconds the old Aerochino took about 60 seconds so I mean test it, it, might, it should say on the Nespresso website how long it takes anyway um, but there's a little bit of extra information for you I'll now just wash this out and I'll run the cold milk through just so you can see that or possibly the um, warm milk that's got no froth just so you can see that it doesn't froth up too much with the spring so I've just given that a little quick wash out and just so you can see it's back to its original condition no burnt milk because of the inside coating it was really quick and easy to get off. So 
So just uh, we'll have a look at the cold milk now, just to show you how that froths up. I won't put too much milk in because I don't want to waste waste it all. Nobody likes waste. So I'll just talk about that while the cold milk's going. Actually, I'll, I'll be honest again. It, you, you can get a few the metal coating. You know, it's a metal thing and it's stainless steel. So. You do get a few fingerprints on the outside of it, but they do wipe off, they seem to wipe off quite easily. So you might get a couple of fingerprints, but don't worry too much. Even with just a tea towel, I managed to polish it up quite nicely. So I'll just let that run now, I'll get another cup to pour it out into. So this is the cold milk setting. It is pricey some of the Nespresso stuff, but it, it's good quality stuff, it really is. We're also going to be reviewing some uh, Espresso mugs that they sent with my last order as well. I got those free with a, an offer that they did. So if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And you'll be able to see the review of the Espresso, the pure Espresso mugs they call from Nespresso. Shouldn't be too much longer now. There, that's finished. So I'll just pour that one out now and you can see this is cold milk. And there's a nice froth on that as well. So if you wanted a nice coffee, that's perfect for that. So finally now I'll just wash it out again and I'll just show you the, the middle milk, the, the froth set in there, not the extra froth, the normal froth, that's pretty much the same as what the Aerochino 3 was. We've saw how frothy the, the fourth setting was. That one's obviously just a bit less, but I just wanted to run this one through, the hot milk one. I'll do it to the max level, just to show you that it does work with the spring still being on, so you don't have to worry about removing that spring anymore as you did with the Aerochino 3. So I'll just wash it out and we'll do that and then we'll finish the video. Right, so I've um, put some more milk in now. As you can see, if you just look in the top there, I haven't filled it to the top fill line just because I didn't want to waste the milk for no reason. Um, but you'll see the, the amount of froth or the lack of it when we do this hot milk setting now. While it's going, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. On the inside, when I said we clean it to get the burnt milk off and stuff, always make sure you're using an appropriate material so you don't scratch the inside um, coating because that would cause problems in the long run. If you scratch that inside coating and it burns on, you'll have a real problem getting it off. Um, second was when I said it took a minute and 20 seconds. I was just thinking off video then, off camera. That's probably because I used the extra froth setting. I'd imagine if we'd have used the standard froth setting, which was the same as the Aerochino 3, it probably would have took about 60 seconds again. Um, but that's something I'm sure will be in Nespresso specifications. So we'll just let this one run now. Obviously we'll, we're expecting a little bit, even when the whisk was off on the Aerochino 3, for non-froth milk, there'll still be a few bubbles on the top, there'll still be a tiny bit of froth, because it is spinning it, it is stirring it. So don't be surprised to see a, a, a few bubbles, a tiny bit of froth. But we should just get hot milk out of this, like a sort of steam milk texture. So just let this one run and finish up. If you've just bought an espresso, an espresso machine for the first time, by the way, or you're just thinking of buying one, be sure to check out our playlist for tips and tricks on uh, different things you can do with your machine and different coffees you can make. Loads of videos on there. Spend an hour watching it or spend half an hour if you've got time and you'll learn how to use your machine a lot better if, if you're planning on getting one or if you've got one already. So, just pour this out now. As you can see, that's pretty much just consistency of milk with a tiny bit of foam on top. You don't have to pour that out if you don't want to, but that's the consistency of the non-froth setting. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you've found that useful. I hope it's helped you in your decision as to whether you want to buy an Aerochino 3 or an Aerochino 4 or whether you want to upgrade. It's £10 more, well worth the money, um, but we hope you found it helpful. Please give it a like so your friends can see the video. Um, please follow our channel, subscribe, um, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching.